Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Photo Focus. In this video, we're going to take a look at Adobe Slate. So let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am on the iPad, and I'm going to tap Adobe Slate to open it. And the first thing that we get is some examples of what we can do. Now, this is a great way to explore the app. Let's just click on this first one here. And then as we scroll up, you can see that it's a great way to present different information and images. Okay, I'm going to click on the cross at the top right hand corner and go back to the beginning. Now I'm going to tap on create a new story. So here we go. Already I'm getting instructions on how to put in my information. I can add a title. So I'm going to do that here. Now my keyboard isn't appearing on the iPad because I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard. I'm also going to fade out and fade back in again so you don't have to watch me type. There we go. That was easy enough. Let's add a subtitle. There we go. Okay, let's tap away from that. And straight away, a bubble comes up that says photo. I'm going to tap on that to add a photograph. And I've given a choice of where I can upload a photograph from. Now, this can be on my iPad or I can take a picture, but I'm going to choose the Creative Cloud. I've got a folder here called Photo Focus. And then I'm going to choose this picture of an owl taken by Scott Bourne and used for one of his posts. I'm going to tap Open File. And there it is, added to the background of my page. Now you notice there's a little target down the bottom right hand corner. If I tap on that, it gives me the opportunity to drag and choose a focal point. Now you can see at the top right hand corner what it would look like in portrait mode. So if I move this across, you can see how it will affect the portrait mode. I want to keep it square between the eyes. Okay, let's click done. Let's scroll down. And now let's start adding some more bits and bobs. Let's add a photo. Again, I'm going to go to the Creative Cloud and Photo Focus. And I'm going to choose this image, which is part of Rich Harrington's post. I'm going to click Open File. Now I've got lots of choices here. I can keep it in line as it is now. I can go to Fill the Screen in a window, so it only shows a portion of it as I'm scrolling. Or I can go to Full Width. I'm going to go to Window. That looks good. Now you may be able to see on the left hand side that I can add a caption to this. So I'm going to do that now. There we go. That's my caption added. Let's scroll up and I can add more bits and bobs. Let's go and add some text. I'm going to paste some text in here and paste. And there we go. Let's put a full stop on the end there. And now I can tap on the plus sign to add more. And I'm going to add a link. I'm going to type in what I want the button to say. And of course, I need a web address. So let's paste that in there too. There we go. I'm going to tap done. And just like that, I'm away. Let's add some more. I'm going to tap on the photo grid here. And again, from the Creative Cloud, let's go and have a look at those photographs again in the Photo Focus folder. Now to add these, I'm going to tap it, open the file, and it adds it for me. I go again, open Creative Cloud, folder, this one, open file. And one more perhaps. There we go. Now you see it's formatting all the photographs for me, which is really helpful. I'm going to tap Done. Now that was a bit time consuming and I had to go backwards and forwards, but let me show you something else. I'm going to click on the plus sign here and add another photo grid. I'm going to go back and this time choose Lightroom. Now back at the desktop, I've synchronized one collection to Lightroom Mobile. And this also synchronizes here. It's called Morocco. And if I tap on that, it opens up the images for me. And it's much quicker to be able to tap these images and add them here than it was from the Creative Cloud. You can see it formats it all really nicely for me here as well. I'm going to actually cancel out of that. I don't want those in there. OK, let's add one more. Let's go to another photo and back to the Creative Cloud. Because I want to then put in this picture of the Drobo. And let's go for full screen this time. And the caption. Here we go. Let's scroll down, add some text. And then let's plus again, 
to add another link. There we go, all my details in. Let's click done. And there we are. Let's see how we're doing by tapping on the play button in the top right hand corner. And then we can scroll through and see how it looks. Okay, I've just noticed that I've misspelled rich, so we'll have to go back there. Let's go back. And we can alter that really easily just by tapping it and then going back here. There we go, Rich Harrington, that's better. Okay, there's another button at the top right hand corner there, it looks like a magic wand. Let's tap on that, you can see that we've got different themes. And Nightcap works well for this particular thing. But I'd like to go down to the bottom and maybe choose Wesley. That looks nice. Or Chronicle. Yeah, that's nice and clean. I like that. And there we go. Now I can keep adding to my heart's content, but for now let's call it done. And I'm going to tap on the square with the arrow coming out the top in the top right hand corner. And this is to share and save it. I'm going to make it public. I'm going to put it in the category of photography. The author, well, that's me. Let's put me in there. There we go. Click done. End credits. I'm not too worried about the end credits here. And we won't share it to any of the social networks just at the moment. And let's tap continue. And it'll upload now to the Slate site. When it does, it'll also give me a link of where it's being stored. And there we go, it's all done. You can see that I've got the address there and I can tap that and it'll open up for me as well in Safari so as I can have a look. There we go. That's good. Now just for a few minutes work, I've managed to put it together quite a nice little presentation. Well, that's Adobe Slate. I'm Eric Grano. Thank you very much for joining me here. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.